Eleanor Holmes Norton, welcome to Explorations in Black Leadership. Let me start with some questions about Brown v. Board. When you heard about the decision, what did it mean to you? Well, as it, as it turns out, it had great meaning uh, to me. Uh, I was uh, sitting at Dun in Dunbar High School here in Washington, D.C. Um, on March 17, 1954, and the District of Columbia was one of the Brown cases. Mm -hmm. uh, Dunbar High School is a uh, storied high school where many uh, African Americans of note attended over the over the decades. It, it was the first uh, public high school for African Americans in the United States, uh, so that the 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 race consciousness in this school. Uh, wh which was for many years the only college preparatory high school for black children in the city. Uh, that race consciousness, that uh, uh, civic consciousness was fairly high. It was certainly high enough so that the principal who is still living today, Mr. Charles Lofton, um, sounded the buzzer Mm -hmm. that tells you that the principal is about to make an announcement. Uh, Brown was one of the most memorable days in my life because I recall he, his being very clear that he had an, an important announcement to be made. Uh, I don't remember the exact words, but I remember that they were words to the effect that the Supreme Court of the United States had just declared schools like this school uh, to be in violation of the Constitution of the United States because this school is a segregated school, segregated by law. The Dunbar High School had many teachers with PhDs or other advanced degrees. Um, it was an occasion when, when uh, teachers broke down. Yes, I know you wrote about teachers crying. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, Historic significance to Dunbar was very great where uh, this school had stood for excellence, indeed for public education itself, for African Americans as the first uh, high school for African Americans set up right after uh, uh, the turn of the century, of the, of the 19th century that is. Uh, so it was a moment of uh, not cheering, the kind of cheering you see today. Uh, but of awe mm -hmm. and of uh, reverence for the teachers who seemed uh, to believe that they had an obligation to, to at the same time, convey to us uh, the, um, the historic importance of the moment. Can you remember what you thought then that, that importance would be? What, what it would mean to you then, as opposed to how it's turned out? Uh, the, the District of Columbia was, was uh, a city where um, people had been striving for decades to, to integrate, as it were, <laughs> fairly basic uh, institutions. It was a city which had been a majority, was still a majority white city when, when I grew up um, and when Dunbar, uh, when this decision was announced. Uh, it was a city where everything was segregated. Uh, the public accommodations, the schools, it was a southern town for all intents and purposes. Uh, so that there had, the, 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 throughout my entire life, uh, in school and at home, discussion of uh, bigotry and racial segregation had been um, uh, constant. So that uh, I immediately uh, believed, and as it turns out in the District of Columbia, believed correctly, that the schools in the District of Columbia would become integrated mm -hmm. immediately, and they did. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the um, 11th grade. My sister Portia was in the 10th grade. We remained at Dunbar, but my third sister uh, went to the nearest high school to our home, Roosevelt High School. Portia and I had to get a bus and then to get a uh, streetcar <laughs> to Dunbar to a neighborhood that was uh, even then uh, a dangerous neighborhood, but it was where Dunbar had been located. Mm -hmm. uh, and now people could go to high schools nearest them, although many jurisdictions did not feel the impact of 
of Brown immediately. Uh, the District of Columbia was ready for it, and I believed that this school would be uh, no longer segregated, and uh, my goodness, it was no longer segregated. Now, looking back at it from the perspective of more than 50 years, looking back, what do you think it has turned out to mean? After this initial success in Washington, D.C., what has it turned out to mean? Well, if by that you mean in terms of the integration of the schools, Dunbar was not integrated even then because there were no white people around uh -huh. that school. Um, there were um, schools that were integrated because there were many white people still living in the District of Columbia. And the fact that the schools are largely black today has nothing to do with Brown versus Board of mm -hmm. Education has to do with white flight, which occurred for a number of reasons. Yes, school integration was one of them, but it also occurred because of the ex a, a, a ex expansion of the population and people, as they got better off, tended to move out of the city. And when you move out of the city, you look for uh, places where the schools are good. And by the way, the black middle class also mm -hmm. moved in large numbers out of the schools. So it left a city which had been uh, a city of uh, very considerably middle class, black and white, still uh, in many ways a middle class city, but with many, with a greater proportion of poor people than would have been the case in 1954. So yes, the schools uh, do not look like they did right after Brown versus Board of Education, but I think it is a big mistake to somehow draw a straight line from Brown uh, to the state of the schools today, since Brown promised no more than to lift the veil of official imprimatur from segregation. It didn't promise much, much more than that. Uh, we didn't want the integration of schools to take place because we thought that there must be uh, uh, schools where you could get a better education, not we at Dunbar, but we did think that there were schools where there were better facilities. Uh, and we did believe that the education of children would be enhanced if they could be educated together rather than separated off into racial uh, groupings.